I'm Irish Canadian, and the branch of my family that gave me my name arrived in eastern Canada, in the province of New Brunswick, somewhere around 1850, at the height of the exodus that resulted from the Great Famine in Ireland in the mid 19th century. Certain other branches of my family uh, arrived much sooner than that, approximately 1820. Now, just recently, uh, probably my generation, as opposed to my parents' generation, um, this strain of the Irish-Canadian community has finally begun to think of itself as more Canadian than Irish, or perhaps not really much of anything. It's difficult to really say. But definitely the Irishness weighs far less heavy on the our characters and our sense of history than it would have, say, for our grandparents. That's over 150 years to assimilate. Compare that to the rate at which new immigrants tend to assimilate in Canada and the United States nowadays, and the process of assimilation looks to be, if anything, accelerating, especially given the fact that the Irish were sort of the original multiculturals. They were the ones who came to North America with a strong sense of their own national identity, and they were belligerently proud of their identity, and they were not going to give it up. Nowadays, um, some people don't like to hear this said, but the Irish uh, identity is just merging into the larger Canadian identity, and almost certainly the same process is taking place in uh, the United States. An often overlooked group are the Irish in the UK, and they sort of merged into the general English or Scottish identities uh, even more rapidly than they did in Canada or the US. I'm sure the same process takes place in Australia and New Zealand. Assimilation takes place. It, there are often barriers to it. You've got to remember that we've got an awful long time in which to work on this, and the only thing that we really have to do is to prevent it from completely disorienting our society. Some societies seem to be able to assimilate other societies more efficiently, um, but I think that the Irish are a good example of a group that were seen as fundamentally indigestible when they first arrived in their host countries, and are now essentially indistinguishable from the larger society in those new societies.